I am Dr. Punyavati C. Nagaraj. I am a consultant laparoscopic gynec surgeon at Punya Hospital, Bangalore. PCOS is polycystic ovarian syndrome. As the name says, it is a syndrome only. It's a complex of diseases. In that case, we find sex hormonal, female sex hormonal imbalance along with some associated problems. In PCOS, both the ovaries shows small, tiny, fluid-filled sacs on the surface of the ovaries. This is called polycystic ovarian syndrome. In polycystic ovarian syndrome, lot of hormonal changes happens. In case of uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome, the pituitary gland produces more of luteinizing hormone that will be released into bloodstream that is taken up by both the ovaries. So there are a lot of primordial follicles in the ovaries. These primordial follicles will get stimulated by these hormones and these primordial follicles will never mature into graphene follicle. The growth arrest happens at some stage and on this, these follicles will stay as a fluid filled sacs or small cysts on the surface of the ovaries. This cyst contains some amount of fluid which is rich in estrogen. Because of these abnormality in the hormone levels, there will not be ovulation. That means the follicle will never mature into uh, graphene follicle and there won't be any release of mature egg. That is called ovulation. But this ovulation will not happen polycystic ovaries. And these immature eggs along with the follicles will retain as polycystic ovaries. Polycystic ovarian syndrome produces a lot of effects on a woman's body. For example, this anovulation leads on to Married women will have infertility and other effects like they will put on weight that leads on to morbid obesity and they may have medical complications like high blood pressure, hyperlipidemia, hypertriglyceridemia as well as they may become type 2 diabetic also in future. So these symptoms will lead on to medically complicated conditions where patient may need a lot of medical treatment along with a diet and exercise. So we should recognize polycystic ovarian syndrome before patient could develop any symptoms by investigating her.